Hello guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be recreating my first crochet project ever. All right, y'all, so this is my first video of Creative Crochet Month, which I'm super excited about. So I'm sure you noticed this is a Wednesday upload, which is not normal for me at all. Unless it's like the yarn sale videos, those are kind of sporadic. But as far as like a crocheting video, it's not normal for a Wednesday. But this whole month, I am going to be uploading every single Wednesday for National Crochet Month. And I am calling it Creative Crochet Month here on my channel. So you guys are going to get five videos this month from me that are extra. And those are going to be on Wednesdays. So today is the first one and I'm so excited about it. Alright y'all, so this is going to be a fun video because I am recreating my first ever crochet project. Now, for this, I am recreating the first project I ever finished. So there were quite a few projects that I started and either got frustrated with or ran out of yarn or something like that and just never continued as a beginner. But this is the first one that I completed. So I'm going to be recreating this little draft, which... I'm not even sure if you can tell it's a giraffe if I didn't tell you. I think you can. But it's definitely um, unique, to say the least. Um, but this was my first project ever, so I did make this with a friend who was also the friend that taught me to crochet. And unfortunately, I could not find the exact pattern because at that time I didn't know how to read patterns. So her and I were just making it together and she was basically showing me how to do it. So I don't have the exact pattern that I'm using today, but I did try to find one as similar as possible. And it looks like this, and this is what I'm gonna be using today for this video. But I do know for sure that I have the same exact yarns. So Red Heart Super Saver has always been my go-to since I started out crocheting. So I do have two of them. Unfortunately, these don't have tags on them, but I believe this one is Cafe Latte and this one is Gold. If I am incorrect on either of those, I will put it on the screen, the actual color name. But I do believe that is the name of both of these. And like normal for you guys, all the materials I'm using in this video will be linked below. So you can find the pattern, the yarn, the hook, all of that kind of stuff. And I also have one of my furls hooks today to use with you guys. So I have my peppermint furls hook, which is just so pretty. And this is a G plus, which is a four and a half millimeter. So this is what I'm using today for this pattern. And I'm also gonna be using stuffing, yarn needles, stitch markers, generic things like that as well that it takes for little anagrumi projects. But with that, y'all, we're just going to go kind of vlog style and recreate this little guy. All right, I am ready to start. So I have my little original draft here just as a reference because um, I am going to try to do the colors and all of that pretty much the same. So I am just starting out with the yellow because the pattern does start out with the head for the draft. So I am following the pattern, but the pattern does have like brown at the end of the feet and the, I guess the arms and legs, I don't really know. But um, I'm gonna stick to the yellow that I used originally just to make it more like my original project. But yeah, I'm just gonna start. I'll keep you guys updated. I do have my new stitch cutter here that goes with my finger which I'm very excited about. This is my first project I'm using it for, but we're just gonna start out with a magic circle and I will keep y'all updated. Also, if y'all notice me struggling a little bit, this is my first time using this hook as well and having this on my finger. So it is gonna be a little bit of an adjustment for me. So don't mind if I am a little slower than normal or whatever because again an adjustment with this hook and with having this on my finger <laughs> all right magic circle with six stitches inside is done so click that once and i'm now on to round two all 
Alright y'all, this is the first six rounds and the next several are just single crochets in each with no increasing. So that's what I'm going to do and then I will update y'all after that. Alright y'all, so I have opened my window which you can probably see in like the corner. So I apologize if the lighting is off a little bit but it does just help me see a little bit better in my room. And also it helps me stay awake and not try to fall asleep as I'm doing something like this. So I have finished my rounds of just regular single crochet so I am now going to put in the safety eyes it says to insert between rounds 10 and 11 at a distance of about five stitches from each other and then the next rounds are going to be decreasing so I am personally going to use larger safety eyes than the pattern says because I am using larger yarn and a larger hook which unfortunately is making this quite a bit larger than my original draft here but honestly I'm okay with that because I think it's gonna be really cute so it's just gonna be like a mom and a baby or something like that <laughs> but anyway um hopefully you guys don't mind that I had a really hard time finding a pattern that would be similar enough and be kind of the same size so I just had to go with similar instead of the same size it would be probably the same size if I went with a smaller yarn but I did want to use the same exact yarns that way it'd be the same exact color and everything so anyway with that I'm just going to add safety eyes instead of my regular just yarn eyes that I used on this because I did not have safety eyes back when I made this either so I'm going to actually use safety eyes on the new one and then I will get to the decreasing rows. Alright, I am putting mine a little bit further apart than they did theirs just because my eyes are a little bit bigger. So I'm now going to put the backing on these and then we will be ready to do the decreasing rows or rounds i'm sorry i'm the world's worst about saying rows but i mean rounds and vice versa all right here is the little head um it doesn't say anything about stephanie yet but it did say to fasten off with a long tail for sewing on later so that's what i did um i'm sure at some point i'll have to stuff it but the next part is the ears so we'll make the first one on camera together and then i will do the next one off camera so i'm going to reset my counter because it does start with a different round obviously so this is going to be just eight rounds instead of the 18 from the last one. All right, we have one ear done, which I have left a tail for attaching as well. So I'm now gonna make the second one off camera and then we will start with the horns, which I feel like this looks like Pikachu almost right now. The ears aren't big enough, but it almost looks like Pikachu. Okay, it's gonna look like a giraffe soon, I promise. <laughs> All right, y'all, and I have the giraffe head and the two ears. So I'm about to start on the first horn which means I am using the brown yarn instead for right now and I'm gonna do the first one again on camera and the second one will be off camera just like I did the ears because it is the same process all right and the horns are only seven rounds this time so not too bad Alright y'all, I have made the two horns now, which I didn't really realize that in the pattern it actually has you switch to yellow after doing the like first part of the horns. Um, 
yeah, I didn't really pay attention. But also, I want it to look similar to my original one anyway. And I did not do that in my original. So, that's fine with me. And it does say to stuff it a little bit. But I think I'm just not gonna. Because, I don't know. I feel like it looks pretty normal just like this. And it'll be kind of like that, you know. But anyway, I am going to continue now. Which the next part is the arms, which it says to start with brown and end off with yellow. But because my original one is all yellow, I'm going to be just using yellow. So, now I am starting the arms, which again, it's going to be the same process. So I'm going to do the first one on camera and then the second one off camera. Okay, you guys, I have two arms here now with long tails. So the next part is the muzzle, and then it will be the body, and the body has the legs attached. So that will be the end of this. But first, we're doing the muzzle. Oh, and then the spots, of course. But right now, it is the muzzle. They used white yarn, but I'm again going to use my gold, just so it's more accurate to my first draft. And... I'm going to just follow their instructions again. so I've now finished the muzzle which all I need to do later on is put the little nostril marks and that will be this done so I'm now going to move on to the body which also has the legs attached so this will all be one piece which is good and then we do spots and tail and then the assembly process so for now I'm going to start work on the legs and again it does say to start with brown in the pattern but i'm not going to be doing that just because i want it to look like this just like i've been saying All right, y'all, I have the two legs now. The pattern just has to chain them together, which is what I've just done. And then you start to work around, basically, and the body goes upward. So that is what I'm doing. I have reset my counter again because it starts at round one. And now I'm just going to be working around. Alright y'all, I now have the body done, which it looks really cute. So, of course, there's going to be arms right here, and the head and all of that, and then there will be spots also. So, my next step is spots, and then assembling all of this. So, I'm very excited. This only took me a couple of hours, which I'm very impressed by. So, let's get it finished. 
Oh, and I have a tail to make. So doing three spots, it says. I might do more, we'll see. Because my yarn is a little bit bigger. So I don't know how many I want. But anyway, I'm gonna do the spots. And then I'm also gonna do the tail. And that'll be it. Okay, and now this is what the tail looks like. It's just a little tiny line. And then it has you do little brown pieces at the end and kind of like fray it to look like hair. I'm again going to do yellow even though the pattern says brown because that's what I did on my original one. But after that, all of my pieces will be done and I will work on putting them together. Okay, you guys, we have a giraffe head, which it looks super cute. I'm, like, so happy with it. I need to stuff this, and then I have one more arm to attach here. And then I will also be putting the spots and the tail on. And then we gotta, of course, sew the head onto the body. And then it'll be done, which I'm so excited. It already looks so cute just being like this, so I can't wait for it to be fully together. All right, y'all, we now have the spots, the second arm and the tail attached. So, my last step is going to be to stuff this head and then attach and it's going to be so cute. You guys, he's done. I just finished attaching the head to the body. And it is so cute. I love how this pattern turned out. Um, I highly recommend making this pattern with a thicker yarn like I did because I think it's so cute this way. Um, I definitely want to make some more drafts with maybe like even blanket yarn. I think that could be so fun. But this is my recreation of my original, which I think they're pretty similar, but definitely also quite different. The skill level is definitely the main difference, but yes, I'm so happy with it. All right, you guys, so we are back, and as you know, I have finished my draft, so I'm going to give you a little comparison between the one I made first three years ago and the one I made now. So this is my first little guy that is the three year ago one. If it wasn't obvious by um, his construction and stuff. <laughs> and they're not super similar, but they're made out of the same yarn and you can tell they're both drafts. 
so I'm very happy with it this is my new one so here is the 360 of this guy and again like always the pattern will be linked in the description box below for you guys this pattern is made with a smaller hook and a thinner yarn than i used i personally used red heart super saver which is medium weight four and i also used a four or a five millimeter i honestly cannot remember you guys i think i told you at the beginning of this video but i'm filming this outro a little bit afterward but yeah here is the difference three years mix which is insane you guys and um obviously this is my first project and this is my most recent project so three years is a long time in crocheting but even after like probably six months of crocheting i could have made something like this this was just definitely a learning curve of figuring out how to attach everything properly and to stuff it and all of that kind of stuff and this was quite an ambitious project for a beginner as well so i am super happy with my recreation in this video and i hope you guys enjoyed seeing me recreate my original little draft if you guys did enjoy this video please do give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos from me make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time i upload a brand new video if you guys do want to see more from me you can always check out more videos of mine my blog my etsy shop my podcast all of my social medias my vlog channel and you can now join this channel for more content and exclusive perks from me plus you definitely want to make sure you subscribe right now for all of the extra videos you are getting in March from me as well. And if you guys do want to check out any of the materials I used, again, that's all going to be linked in the description box below for you. And with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you here on Mondays and Fridays and Wednesdays for this month and sometimes Sundays for yarn sale videos and things like that. And I will see you on my vlog channel on Wednesdays. Goodbye.